2013, Kick-Ass, Part 2. I, even though I paused it in the first few minutes, I'm going to try and watch the entire movie without comment. I see if I can enjoy it. The problem I have is that the first movie and the second movie, when I watched them, and the second one came out 10 years ago, woke did not exist as a word. It, it just didn't exist. It was not in the social consciousness. It was not a word. It didn't exist. 10 years ago, only 10 years ago, it did not exist as a word. And yet now that I know about woke as a word, as a definitive term, I've been able to trace back for over 30 years practically every single form of media out of America, whether it's a movie or a TV series or an advert or a plug or a play or whatever, is anti-white, anti-white female, anti-straight men, anti-white children. So now when I watch these movies, instead of just trying to enjoy it, I'm thinking those are white schoolgirls shagging black men who are drug dealers and criminals that's a white preteen girl who's living with a black man i know in this one that the main bad guy in it um tries to rape with someone but he can't get it up so he's not only a rapist but he's an impotent rapist if we're going to dress important i'm going to be important i'm going to dress important i'm going to wear a suit so i'm going to try and watch the movie bearing in mind that mindy is now in real life 13, I think. So, I'll give it a go. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. I mean, if there aren't any white schoolgirls fucking black men, then it'll be a bonus. Yeah, this is really fucking creepy. She's like 13 in real life. Oh, she's 15. No, she's 13 in real life. She's like 13, 14 at the most in real life. And he's, what, 20s? And he looks like he's in his 20s. Um, oh, Mindy beat me every morning like morning wood. Wood is a slang term for an erect penis. So the underage child is wanking off every morning. And they actually end up with people thinking that he is fucking her. Um, yeah, if, if you describe this movie to someone, you... you Worry you might get arrested. I wasn't going to do a commentary until the very end of the movie, but I'm 12 minutes in on board. It's a case of they spent five minutes of the first 12 basically, yeah, I'm a little underage white girl. I'm going to be a sex object. I'm going to live with a black guy. Uh, that sort of shit. Um, the fight scene, that they've had a little get out of an Aggies uh, practice bouts, which is nothing really. But the actual fight scene they're just doing now is so unbelievably slow. In the first movie, she was a completely different person. It's only two, three years in real time, but her body has changed completely. She, she is moving and acting like somebody in her 30s who is not a martial artist. She's not a martial artist in real life. Uh, from what I can gather, I like ballet. I like walks. I like swimming a basketball. The sort of bollocks that people come out with. They, they don't actually have to back up. She's fighting as if she doesn't know how to fight. She's moving as if she doesn't know how to move. Whoever did the choreography is crap. The whole point of a choreographer is not to make you do stuff you can't do. It's to get you to do things that make it look as if you can do them. You don't get someone to do a pirouette on tiptoe if they can't do it. You change the camera angle to make it look as if they can. This is just tedious and slow. Not only is the fighting slow, the music is slow. You've gone from la 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 to dun ba dun 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 dun. A recent movie by Sylvester Stallone where he played a superhero, old and decrepit and superhero, 
was faster than this. That this is lamentable. And her tits didn't get any bigger. <laughs> yep, so now I'm saying he's fucking a ninth grader, which is a 14 year old, and they're calling him a pedophile freak. Because he's a white guy. Of course you do. <sighs> yeah, I, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be yet keeping either of these films. It's just. I can't believe how much I really enjoyed the first movie when it came out. That there's just so much paedophile stuff in this against white people. It is, it is just sickening. And it turns out that she's, even though she's supposed to be in love with him, she's been fucking black guys at the needle exchange. Well, the junkies, the black men. So she likes black cock. Of course, she's a white school girl, so of course she does. This is fucking creepy. It's, I don't know if it's even a 15 rating. I think it's like a PG. Who puts these pedophile ratings on these movies? I'm old enough to remember that when Grease came out, the movie, the musical, it was a 15 rating. Some states in America, it was an 18. Because they're singing about girls creaming their knickers. And, um, and this, she's 13. Maybe 14 at the most. She's with other girls meant to be the same age. And they're talking about, I am soaked because of watching boy bands. And she's saying, oh no, I like um, fucking something Lee movies. No, not Bruce Lee. She's all about some, like Spike Lee, you know, all the black movies, black men movies. Oh, fuck's sake. And now they're all getting horny together because they're schoolgirls. And they're, this is so fucking creepy. Really creepy. The acting is okay. She is an okay actress. She's not a great actress. She's an okay actress. She's average. She's gone by and harassing her looks and the fact that she's jailbait. When she, she's a woke actress, which is a bit of a shame. But when she was no longer jailbait, when she became an adult, she was fucking jailbait, like David Beckham's son. And that's just what was in public. When that didn't work for attention, and the really average, mediocre movie she did. She did really woke. She went down the typical woke route of shagging black men on screen. Uh, there was a TV series called Prohifero, which I tried to watch. And the opening of that series is maybe nine years old. This little white girl, half naked, just wearing a dress and nothing else, sitting down next to a poshly dressed black man. I gave up not long after that. I couldn't even watch it on fast forward. It's kind of predictable that she's going to end up fucking some black guy. And it's that kind of forced racism that I hate. It's just racism for the sake of racism against white people and white children. And I read a review about it and it turns out, yeah, she does fuck him in the end. <sighs> this movie is crap. I'm going to delete it. It's one of those things that even, it's not even any good as background. It's just, the acting is average. The main guy in it, uh, the English guy who plays Kick-Ass, he's great, he's a good actor. The fact that I thought he was American proves, it, proves that he's a good actor. Um, everyone else in it, oh, the shit. Jim Carrey's good, didn't even recognize the guy. But then when he's not doing his cartoon faces, you forget who he actually is. He is actually quite a good accomplished actor. I hate the movies like Dumb and Dumber, that kind of mental handicapped programming I just don't like. Um, the Ace Ventura movies, they're supposed to be for children. But you've got, oh, I'll pay you in kind. Basically getting blowjobs from people instead of cash. That is not something that children should be watching. Call me old fashioned. But aside from, but Jim Carrey is quite a good actor. I mean, the thing that stands out the most in my mind of his work is, um, oh, bollocks, what's it called? Oh, that adorable jailbait. Who ended up getting shagged by black guys on cinema. Oh, I'm surprised. Um, she was in Ghost Ship. Um, Lemony Snickets. 
a series of unfortunate events narrated by the guy who ended up playing a gay Dumbledore. So, um, yeah, so John Kerry can act. It's just he gets typecast into certain things. But he does pop up in a lot of very famous movies that you don't realise it's him because he's an actor. He's pretending to be somebody else. This kid, oh, she's going to burn out before she hits 30. I doubt very much, and it's going to be a real shame, but I seriously doubt she'll be alive past 30. She has burnt out so much, and she's been, I'm assuming, forced into doing all this extreme woke stuff. Doing all the adult orientated movies, R rated movies, X rated movies, and then going down the world group where she's forced to be with people who are not white. It's brainwashing, it's abuse, and I seriously fucking doubt that she's going to be alive when she hits 30 because she's only getting the work because she was Jarbait and because she continued to look like Jarbait because she had a small ass, small bill, small tits. If she ever does actually eat a burger or eat anything that would make her put on weight so she actually has an adult body, she's not going to get any work. Which is a shame. It really is a shame. The movie would have been a hundred times better if they were to have had somebody who knows how to edit video. I know how to edit video. They don't know how to edit video, whoever the fuck made this. It's little things like the music, the pace is just... Da -da -da. I wonder if they got copyrighted and they weren't allowed to use the original soundtrack because they're not using it and it's just shit. Really, really shit. And a good example of pacing is that there's this thing where you go on your back, you do your little leg scissor swing thing as you flip up and you're standing upright. A bit like breakdancing from 40 years ago. Except that she does it and it takes three seconds. Doesn't sound very long, but three seconds is a long time when it's meant to be something in an instant. Now in the first movie, I've no doubt whatsoever they sped up the footage, but even if you only speed the footage up by a tenth of a second, a tenth of a second is all it takes, and it still looks real, but, it looks smoother. It looks like someone has actually got skill. I don't think she had any training for this movie. She doesn't come across as if she's actually rehearsed any exercise or training or any kind of martial arts tuition or fucking dance class or anything. It, it's just, it's so slow. She's having to use her arms to get up. Rather than flipping up like a martial artist ninja, no, she has to like get up slowly using her arms to push herself up. Yeah, that this is, it, it's just like they they made it on the back of that first movie, and they just didn't give a shit. I mean, it made it doubled its money. I mean, it had a budget of about twenty eight mil, and it made I think fifty nine, or something around that. So it it made double its budget. But it's so slow. It's not a rewatchable movie. Not unless you want to just whinge about it. I'm only watching it because some guy called Tim asked me to do a review on them. The first one I'm going to keep because as background, it's okay. Watching it, you got all the anti-white racism, fucking schoolgirls, fucking black people. This one is not even keeping, it's not even worth watching or keeping as a background movie. It's that shit. See, if I'd done the review at the very end, I think, oh, romantic is hobby. It's not that bad of a movie, really. But I've been pissed off throughout the entire movie because of the constant jailbait shit with little white girls. Not black girls, just white girls have to be sluts. Like, she's snogging him, trying to get off with him. She's been ogling him when he was undressed earlier. He's in his 20s. She's like 13 or 14 years old. I remember the movies being better. I don't remember them being quite so offensive. I suppose I thought it was a one-off. It was just, you know, it wasn't intentional. The white school was fucking black men. 
as a theme. But now that I've seen more movies that come out in the past 20 years, and they've all got the same theme. They've all got the same theme. Little white school girls got to be fucked by black men. They've got to be sluts. It really sucks to live in an anti-white world. Several times throughout the movie, men get their cocks cut off, shot off, bitten off. And he's left alive at the end after the shark attack. Except, of course, his legs have been bitten off and his cock has been bitten off. Because he's a white guy, of course. Fucking shit. Load of fucking shit. <sighs>